In this video, we're going to look at how we transpose a table in a numbers document. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at this on my Mac. Now you may be wondering what transposing a table is in a numbers document. Basically what we're doing is we're flipping around our columns and rows. Let's go and open up a new numbers document. I'm going to go down to numbers here. Now what I'm going to do is create a new document. I'm going to create a new document based on schedule. When we look at the schedule here, this table, you're going to see that across the top I have the different days. And with our rows, I have the times. What I would like to do is transpose this. I'd like to flip this around. That's what we do when we transpose it. Instead of having our times on the left here as a row, what we do is we put the time across the top. And then what it does is it moves these days to these rows here. We're just flipping this around. So how do we do that? Well, we first have to select our table. So I click in there. I click anywhere in that table. And then what we do is we go up to Table. And you're going to see Transpose Rows and Columns. All I have to do is just select this. And we can see that it flipped them around. My days now are rows. And my times are across the top as columns. So I just flip those around. To flip them around again, I just go up under Table. And then we go over to Transpose Rows and Columns. And then it flips them around. Now you may be wondering what this little blue triangle here is. Basically, that's a comment. When I click on it, what I'm able to do is see that a formula was updated. It's just telling me that something was updated. And if I want to remove that comment, all I have to do is just go to Comment here. And when I click outside there, it removes that comment. So that's what transposing is and how we do it on the Mac. Let's see how we do this on the iPad next. So I'm going to go over to my iPad here. So I am in Numbers here. Let's go and create that same document, that same type of document from the same template. So I go over to Create Spreadsheet, and then I go over to Schedule. Under Schedule, we can see that we have our days across the top and our times across the side. I want to transpose these. I want to flip these around. Well, on the iPad, what we need to do, if we have a keyboard for our iPad, what we need to do is select the table, and then what we do is we go over to the dot in the upper left-hand corner of the table itself. So we can see that with my pointer, I have a little dot here. If I hold down the control key and click, what I have here is transpose table. So if you have a keyboard, it's real simple. We just first select the table, and then we go to the dot up here in the upper left-hand corner of that table, control click, and we can transpose it. Now what happens if you do not have a keyboard? Then what do you do? Well, basically, you have to tap on this little dot again. So again, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the table is selected. So I'm just going to tap on it with my finger. And then I go up to the dot in the upper left-hand corner. We have a menu that pops up. And from here, what I do is I can go to Table Actions. Or what we can do is go down to Table in the lower right-hand corner. And when I tap on it, I'm able to transpose it. So let's go ahead and transpose it. And now we can see it flipped it around. So if you have a keyboard, you can control click. And if you do not have a keyboard, then you just have to tap on the little dot here and then go to Table Actions or just go down to Table in the lower right-hand corner. Now what about the iPhone? How does it work on the iPhone? Well, let's go over to my iPhone and see how this works. It basically works the same way as the iPad, as you can imagine. So I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. So I tap on the plus in the upper right hand corner. And then I go over to my schedule. We're going to use the same template. It creates that spreadsheet. We can see we have the days across the top with the times across the side. I want to transpose this. Well, I don't have a keyboard for this. So what do you think we do? Well, we tap in here to select the table. And then we go to the upper left-hand corner of that table where that little dot is. It's underneath my pointer here. When I tap on that dot, what we're able to do is go over to Table Actions. Or what's easier is just go down to the lower right-hand corner to Table here. And when I tap on it, what I can do is I can transpose it. 
So now I just tap on transpose and we can see it flipped it around. So that is how you transpose a numbers table on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. On the Mac, what we need to do is select the table. It doesn't matter what we select. We could select a cell. But basically, we just have to select something in that table, and then we go to Table in the menu bar. You'll see Transpose. On the iPad and iPhone, what we need to do is tap on the table itself, and then we go over to the dot in the upper left-hand corner of that table, and then from there, what we're able to do is Transpose. We go to Table in the lower right-hand corner. It's going to be a green button. Tap on that, and then we can transpose it. So that's how we transpose tables and numbers on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.